Fabry disease is a rare disease that affects a small percentage of the population, but it severely affects uh, their lives. Through my daily interactions with the uh, Fabry, the Fabry community, um, I have come to witness how important early diagnosis is uh, to patients and their families in um, understanding but also managing uh, the disease and to help them uh, live normal lives. Was Fabry disease is uh, life-threatening, if managed properly, it can help patients live normal life. Fabry disease is an inherited condition which is due to lack of an enzyme. Enzymes are proteins that break things down and the failure to break things down means that there's accumulation and in Fabry disease substances accumulate in different organs so it can accumulate in the kidney to cause kidney damage in the blood vessels to cause heart problems or early stroke it can affect the nerves to cause pain it can affect the nerves around the gastrointestinal tract to cause diarrhea constipation cramping abdominal pains it can cause a skin rash lots of different aspects of the condition in different parts of the body but we think all of it fundamentally is because of lack of an enzyme which leads to deposition of the fatty material that isn't being broken down. My name is Lucinda Quinn and I was diagnosed with Fabres the first time I knew about it was in 1995 I was diagnosed as being a carrier of Fabres. Before I was diagnosed as a carrier you know that we, we knew nothing about it as a family you know um, I do think though that I had started to have problems with gastrointestinal problems you know kept having problems with diarrhea and stomach pain and I really just put it down to just having upset stomachs and things like that it wasn't I didn't have it all the time in the way that it developed in later years um, yeah life we knew nothing about it and life was just normal really Fabry disease is a genetic disease it means that there is a change there is a mistake in the genetic material. The gene for Fabry disease, which is mutated, changed in the disease, is on the X chromosome. A female who is a carrier may have half of the children with the mutation, males or females, who have a risk for the disease, and then a second half of the kids do not inherit the mutated gene, they will be not affected, and their offspring will have no risk for the disease either. An affected male will pass his disease gene only to his daughters and never to his sons. My cousin, at the age of 32, um, started having a series of strokes and we knew that he was unwell but we didn't know what was wrong with him. It took about three years to find out and they said that he'd got this rare disease called Fabres. Um, and I remember meeting up with one of my aunts and she said, they think that this is something that's in the family um, and it's probably what killed your father you know, which was quite a shock for me at the time when she said that because um, as a healthcare professional myself, I always used to wonder why my father had suddenly died at the age of 36 of renal failure. It wasn't until my sister had a stroke that I then thought, actually, I think this could be something to do with this Fabry. Because once she was diagnosed with it, I thought, well, if, if she's got it, then there's a possibility that I could have it too. Fabry disease can affect lots of different organs and cause damage to these organs. We have effective interventions, but these interventions need to be applied before the organs are damaged. Pedigree analysis allows us to identify patients who are at risk of developing the complications of Fabry disease, and we can identify them and intervene before those complications have occurred. Because I wasn't diagnosed as definitely having it until about 2000 and it was longer because it was about 2007 I think you know when they said we think you've got well you've got it too because you're showing signs of having an enlarged heart so that was why I was started on the treatment although I had suspected for many years before then that I'd had it um, that was mainly because I'd met other women been to study days and read an awful lot about the disease you know, one of the symptoms was that people have gastrointestinal disorders. 
because of the uh, because of knowing a little bit about genetics myself I realized you know it could have implications for myself so I went to my GP and said you know my cousin's been diagnosed with this disease it's a genetic disease and apparently I could pass it on to my son potentially so I'd like to be tested and I was referred and the, the results came back that positive that I was a carrier of Fabry and I knew then because of my because of my knowledge of genetics that my sisters also would would be carriers um, and that they needed to know especially one of my sisters Nicola who has the son Michael and I thought you know he could be affected in the same way as my son Lewis could be affected. Fabry disease is uh, either misdiagnosed or underdiagnosed and today on average a patient waits uh, 10 years to be diagnosed. Understanding a family history and undertaking a pedigree analysis or genetic testing is an important step in um, understanding early diagnosis. The early diagnosis helps professionals and uh, newly diagnosed patients find uh, a way forward, a path forward. Thank you.